We are at Sold Out Sport and Fitness Center at the University of the Virgin Islands. There are a few Baylor fans here, but there are a lot of South Carolina fans as they are here to watch their own Aaliyah Boston come home in her freshman season at South Carolina. Hello everyone, thank you for joining us once again along with Kevin Lehman, I'm Brenda Van Lingen and we have had a terrific three days of basketball here at the 20th Annual Paradise Jam and we're gonna top it off with a top five matchup between the fifth ranked team in the country, South Carolina, the number two ranked team in the country, Baylor, the defending national championship or champion, what, what a matchup between these two. We've been waiting for this one all week and it, here it is upon us. I think this is gonna come down to, you know, Baylor's gonna pound the ball inside. Can South Carolina defend without fouling? That's gonna be a big key in this because we know Baylor has more post players than South Carolina and Leah Brown has to keep her hands off. She needs to stay in the game. And all these fans Aaliyah that are Boston. here, they want to see her in the game. Let's talk about Aaliyah Boston, the freshman. She grew up right here in St. Thomas, coming to the games at the Paradise Jam growing up. And she's going to toss some T-shirts, Aaliyah Boston, in the crowd. It's standing room only here in the Sport and Fitness Center. You can see the great soft hands of Aaliyah Boston. She fouls up and puts that in. Again, quick release, gets it up on the basket. 15 points, eight rebounds against Washington State. Shows the mid-range jumper. She has been deadly from the field. 12 of 16 for Aaliyah Boston, 75% in this tournament. And she has four gold medals playing for a USAB team. And as you see the fans come in attendance, they're gonna see some great matchups in the post. Queen Egbo for Baylor has been terrific as well. Double-double, 14-14 double. and 14 in their last game against Indiana. Quick reverse pivot, she can score. Egbo off the glass, great offensive rebounder. She has also been highly efficient, can protect the rim, mid-range jump shot. In this tournament, she is shooting 82%, 14-17 from the field, so we have two post players that play at a very high efficiency level. It's a championship game. The winner of this game, with a few exceptions, as we'll talk about tiebreaker rules, will win the Reef Division of the Paradise Jam. We'll sort all that out as we come back, and we're looking forward to a great atmosphere here to wrap up the 20th Annual Paradise Jam. It's South Carolina and Baylor coming up next. It is the hottest ticket in St. Thomas by far. The championship game of the Reef Division for the Paradise Jam. Number two ranked Baylor, number five ranked South Carolina. Rematch of last year's Sweet 16 in the NCAA tournament. Baylor was able to win that game while advancing on to the national, to win the national championship. And another great matchup between a couple of legendary coaches and teams filled with great post play as well. Believe it or not, folks, they have closed down businesses here in St. Thomas so that they could come watch, so that people could come watch this game. Aaliyah Boston, the native of St. Thomas in the U.S. Virgin Islands, is going to be introduced along with her South Carolina teammates coming up right now.
close to watch Aaliyah. How about that? You could tell by the roar of applause when Aaliyah Boston was introduced that people are here to see that fine young woman. She was last year in high school in the United States, a Naismith WBCA and McDonald's All-American, the number third ranked recruit in the country. As we pause now as Baylor is introduced. Baylor, the defending national champion, coached by Kim Mulkey, who has led Baylor to three national championships. South Carolina, coached by Don Staley, who led her team to the 2017 national championship and is our USA basketball head coach for the next Olympics. Legendary point guards, they both were Don Staley for the University of Virginia, played in the WNBA for years led USA Basketball to several gold medals. Kim Mulkey, a terrific point guard in her own right at Louisiana Tech, led her team to two national titles as a player, also represented USA Basketball and won gold medals. So two legendary point guards, coaches that have led their teams to national championships and excellent teams ranked in the top five in the nation, ready for a showdown here in the U.S. Virgin Islands. A standing room crowd here at the Sport and Fitness Center, the University of Virgin Islands. This is the Reef Division of the Paradise Jam. Baylor is 2-0 as Nelissa Smith gets things started for the Bears. They go inside right away and challenge Leah Boston. South Carolina is one and one. We just saw Indiana beat Washington State. They are two and one. So first of all, if Baylor wins this, they win the championship. If South Carolina wins, it then goes to a three-way tie. And the way the tiebreaker works is by point differential between the three teams. And basically, without going into all sorts of mathematical formulations, South Carolina has to win this game by 15 points in order to win the championship. If they only win by 14, Baylor wins the championship, and that will be awkward. I think the Gamecocks <laughs> would take a win by any margin. They say Cooper with a run out. Baylor up three, a chance to go up four. And they've taken Dee Dee Richards the Lady Bears, their best defender, and put her on the point guard for South Carolina. Ty Harris. Foul away from the ball, and Dee Kantner steps in and says, we are not gonna have any of that tonight. Dee Kantner, a veteran official, Eric Bruton and Nikesha Thompson are our officials tonight. Queen Egbo gets whistled with the foul. And right away, she stops the pushing in the post. Dee Dee Richards can't reach it, but Juicy Landrum out on the break for Baylor. She pulls it out, goes into Smith. Smith from the baseline. Egbo skies for the rebound, and then she's fouled, I believe, by Kiki Herbert Harrigan. Yeah, across the arm, Herbert Harrigan comes in. These post players have to keep their hands high. They've had issues with fouls in these games, and there's a Landrum with a point blank OB play misses. It looked like Zaya Cook got a hand on it to block it. The piece. And then out on Landrum. And both teams will use their defense on the ball screen, the defender of the screener out to try to hedge 
They have to keep their hands clean. They want to pick up any ticky-tack fouls. That'll be a huge key in this game for both teams. Zaya Cook turned right into Taya Cooper, and Cooper picked up the foul. She's a transfer from South Carolina, defending her old team and defending the number one point guard in the nation in high school last year, Zaya Cook. Cook puts the Gamecocks on the scoreboard. And she makes both. Cook, the number four recruit overall, the number one point guard in the country. And she and Taya Cooper will be matched up. That will be an interesting matchup tonight. Smith gets it on the pick and roll. Off the window. Well, Smith has been aggressive from the very start. Spin move. And Alyssa Smith slaps her hands together. She is fired up here for this matchup. Lauren Cox, the candidate for National Player of the Year for Baylor, is not playing in this game, has it for the last few games. She is out with a stress reaction. She is over on the Baylor bench with a boot on her right foot. Baylor hoping for her to come back soon, but it is still a day-to-day -day injury. Pick and roll to Egbo. Cooper to Smith. Second chance points for the Bears. And Smith has come to play. He's been aggressive from the very opening. Going to attack the posts from South Carolina. Warren Cox looks like she is in the game right now with that stare. And Ty Harris knocks down the three. The defender goes below the ball screen, gives Harris room. And Dee Dee Richards has it taken away by Ty Harris. Harris doesn't have numbers, pulls up. She did that last night too. Very confident in that pull up jumper on the break. Oh, great recognition of pace and create space for the jump shot at the free throw line. And all the way, a straight line drive by Juicy Landrum. Well, she refused the ball screen, went baseline, no help defender to get there in time. Big key is how can the Gamecocks control the side ball screen? Baylor will pound you to death if you don't have an answer. Aaliyah Boston catches, and they're going to call another foul on Queen Egbo, who had her arm wrapped around Aaliyah Boston. So that's the second foul on Egbo here in the first three minutes and 16 seconds of the game. And Aaron DeGreat, the transfer, the grad transfer from Texas Tech, will take the place of the sophomore. The luxury that the Lady Bears have is they go in deep in their bench to bring up post players, even with Lauren Cox on the sideline. Richards in transition, what a block from Herbert Harrigan. Richards thought she was all alone and she was not. We'll stay on this end of the court. Richards, she had the run out. Great timing. It's a piece of it. That's Herbert Harrigan, also from this area of the country. Herbert Harrigan from the British Virgin Islands. Grew up in Anguilla. Boston catches in traffic, gets her own rebound to Justin scores. Boston with soft hands, quick reflexes. Just a freshman, very talented. A foul going to be called. And they're going to call that one on Zaya Cook. Now the ball screen is happening very high on the floor. See Boston with the soft hands, rips it away from the defender, then stays with it. Second effort, soft touch. So Zaya Cook picks up her second foul. So a starter for each team now with two fouls. Destiny Henderson comes in to take her place. Herbert Harrigan retrieves the rebound. Baylor holding on to a one-point lead. Give and go cut. And Juicy Landrum all the way to the rim. Burst of speed. He smiled on her face. She liked that move. Slight hesitation. 
Defender relaxes for a split second. Juicy Landrum turned on the Jets. That stops a 7-2 run for South Carolina, but Ty Harris all the way to the rim. Read the ball screen to perfection. Ty Harris let the defender go below, hesitated, got all the way to the rim. Cooper has it swatted away. And that will take us to immediate timeout. It's all we hoped it would be here in the early going, a one-point game between these two top five opponents. Well, Ty Harris playing with the side ball screen, reading the defender, and she got a score on that last one as we have the Bears up by a penny. Ty Harris with a quick seven points. See the hesitation stands up. Dee Dee Richards and then explodes, gets it off the window. Both teams trying to figure out how do you defend the side ball screens? Do you pin it with ice? Do you go below? Do you go over the top? Do you switch? We will keep an eye on that throughout the game. Harris. You mentioned seven points already. She's three of five from the field, has made a three-pointer as Baylor comes back onto the court. Number 51, Caitlin Bickle into the game, replacing Aaron DeGreat. That is the fourth post player that the Lady Bears have used in this game. Bickle screens for Landrum, who slices through to the rim. Off the mark, and they push out to Harris. Boston, excellent outlet pass. Harris defended by Dee Dee Richards. Henderson, too hard off the backboard, and here comes Taya Cooper. Beal giving chase, Cooper scores. Going back in defensive balance, but both these teams have gotten penetration into the middle of the other's defense. It's been the side ball screen allowing the penetration. Boston fighting for position. And a nice spin to the baseline, but too much juice. Couldn't get to the backboard, couldn't get an angle on the glass. Cooper strong. Out ahead to Destiny Henderson. Herbert Harrigan dials up from long distance. Euro play, the kickback. First basket of the game for Kiki Herbert Harrigan. Henderson drives in the defense and then the handoff, kicking it back to the three-point line. Dee Dee Richardson battling through the defenders. They're setting the side ball screen, Brent, at different parts of the court. It's causing problems for the Gamecocks. Different reads depending on where it's set at, and Baylor has gotten to the basket time and time again off of that play. That three-pointer by Herbert Harrigan on the last trip down the court, the first three-pointer made by her here at the Paradise Jam. Coming into the game, Victoria Saxton along I'll check that along with Lily Grissett. Third game in three days for these teams. South Carolina one and one. They lost to Indiana on the first day on Thanksgiving Day. Baylor has not lost this year, has not lost here at the Paradise Jam. Dee Dee Richards fighting off the defenders. Juicy Landrum on the baseline. A good pass ahead. The defense was not set. Landrum on the attack. Boston with position. Spins away from the double team to score. That is not the typical move of a freshman. Richards out in front of everybody, draws contact and will go to the free throw line. 
Watch it, Leah Boston. Look at the footwork, balance, drop step. Go with the weak hand off the window. Foul was called on Lily Grissett to send Dee Dee Richards to the free throw line. 78% from the line before coming here to the Paradise Jam. Now this is a huge key here. Aaliyah Boston has played without a foul so far in this game. She only played 14 minutes in the first game and then just around 20 in the second game. She had four fouls and did foul out in game one. Great learning experience. She's playing, keeping her hands off at the defensive end. Harris keeps her dribble going over to Grissette. Henderson, another three for South Carolina. Henderson out of the corner. Too much concentration on the ball screen, trying to take the roll, left her wide open. Cooper has that one slotted by two. And Cooper going to the teeth of the beast. You had a chance to talk to Taya Cooper after the game last night, going against her old team, and she shrugged it off, saying, it's just another game. I left on good terms, but there seems to be a little extra defense played by South Carolina on Cooper. Smith blocked emphatically by Aaliyah Boston. Boston patrolling the paint. Excellent timing. Gets the ball just out as it comes out and a big hand from this crowd as Boston takes a rest. And most importantly, she goes to the bench with no fouls here in the first quarter with a minute 34 to play. A big part of that loss for South Carolina to Indiana was that Aaliyah Boston only played 14 minutes because of foul trouble and the fans here cheering on their native daughter were not happy that she fouled out of that game in just 14 minutes of playing time. Uh, Brenda, what a learning experience though. She has played so much better today at the defensive end, has played clean, keeps showing her hands to the officials, not sticking her elbows out. She got some of those fouls just defending ball screens, trying to stop penetration. And she has grown in her game just in two days. Five on the shot clock, Harris raises. South Carolina three for five from three point range in the early going. Baylor has not hit a three pointer. That's not unusual though. Melissa Smith, Henderson there to gather. Well, Baylor's gonna pound it in the paint rather than shoot the three. Henderson off one foot, rims around. And a foul going to be called on Melissa Smith on the putback attempt by Amihir. Amihir running and crashing the glass. It's tipped. She goes up high, gets a piece of it. And the slap on the wrist by Smith. Me here off the mark. Smith with her first personal. Queen Egbo went to the bench early as she picked up her second. Amir here has struggled from the free throw line. Seven of 20 on the season. She's one of two there. Putting the Gamecocks up by one. And Dee Dee Richards gonna start the offense for Baylor. Reset, bluffing at Richardson, and it is off the fingers of Cooper. It was a flat ball screen designed to get penetration for Dee Dee Richards and a kick out. 10 seconds to go in the quarter. Henderson drops it off. The score by South Carolina, and they're gonna take a three-point lead into the second quarter. Well, we know Baylor likes to pound inside, but this Gamecock crew, they'll shoot from outside. 
as you see Ty Harris rise up and splash one in for South Carolina. In the kickback off the bench, three more by Destiny Henderson. The Euro play as Herbert Harrigan gets her first three of the Paradise Jam tournament. The waves coming in on the beaches at St. Thomas in the Virgin Islands. Gamecocks up by three. We are 1,466 miles away from Columbia, South Carolina, but it feels like a home game for the Gamecocks here in St. Thomas in the Virgin Islands as this arena is packed with Gamecock fans celebrating Aaliyah Boston coming back to St. Thomas. They well, lead 22-19 as we start the second quarter. When Aaliyah Boston signed with the Gamecocks, Don Staley immediately picked up the phone and called Nails Hawkinson and said, do you have a spot in the 2019 Paradise Jam because we want to be in it. And he did, and here we are. The home way from home for the Gamecocks. And me here with the bucket, and then the steal by Saxton. South Carolina with a five point lead. And Juicy Landrum called for the foul. Harris has been very aggressive at the offensive end. Time and time again, getting into the heart of the Baylor defense. First foul on Landrum, and it will send Ty Harris to the free throw line. Ty Harris took over the point guard position halfway through her freshman year and guided South Carolina to a national championship back in 2017. Harris already with eight points, surpassing her total against Washington State, which she had seven. It's come out aggressive in this game for the Gamecocks. A senior on the team, always with a great assist to turnover ratio throughout her career. And she never changes expression. That gets away from Cooper, but it will stay Baylor ball with 21 on the shot clock. See Mike Tebow up there in the first row behind Dee Dee Richards, the head coach of the Washington WNBA team that won the title this year. Mayher was not ready for that bounce pass in transition. Bickle can hit those. Ball screen and step back to open wood. Five point lead for South Carolina and a foul away from the ball. Foul on uh, Bickle, I believe, as Aaliyah Boston comes back onto the court. She and Herbert Harrigan. And yes, the foul was on Caitlin Bickle. Aaliyah Boston with no fouls. And right into the game, Herbert Harrigan splashes down a jumper and a seven point lead, the biggest of the game so far for the Gamecocks. Well, excellent out of bounds underneath the basket. Bickle was off balance, tried to throw over to Cooper, and Destiny Henderson there and extends the lead to nine. And Henderson takes a stab at it, knocks it loose, chases it down, and lays it in. Bickle with foot on the line. South Carolina icing the ball screen, pushing the dribbler to the baseline, so Bickle's in to hit the jump shot for the Bears. Aaliyah Boston just rips it away. Nalissa Smith was going to try to grab it, but the strength of Aaliyah Boston overpowering and giving the Gamecocks an 11-point lead here in the second. Kim Mulkey has to call a timeout. 
There's the pick. Pick six. Henderson off to the races. The Gamecocks. South Carolina shooting 57% is Mike Tebow, the head coach of the Washington Mystics, along with a lot of interested fans in attendance today. The Mystics winning their WNBA title, Mike Tebow's first title of his long career. Elena Deladon leading the way, and Mike Tebow looking for the next Elena Deladon here amongst these players. There's some terrific ones out on the court. And a foul going to be called. Boston hands high the ceiling, keeps them up, pulls down the rebound. Dee Dee Richard yep. smacks from behind. That's her first foul. Third team foul. That's going to be an offensive foul on Grissett. They just kind of threw. Was it, they're trying Cooper to get a mismatch the inside. The idea was good because they knew Grissett had height. It was going to be a high low dump down from Boston to Grissett. Too physical on the post up. That's her second foul. South Carolina's first team foul of the quarter. Aaron DeGreat sweeping around. Melissa Smith keeping it alive and scoring. Smith been active on the backboards. It's her eighth point. We've already had the number one team in the nation go down here at the Paradise Jam. Louisville, the eighth ranked team, beat Oregon earlier in the Island Division. Now we've got South Carolina ranked number five ahead of the second ranked Baylor Lady Bears. Aaliyah Boston there to clean it up and put South Carolina back up by 11 once again. Brissett did the dirty work, battled in there, and Boston picked up the loose change. Smith wants it on the block. Smith short on that attempt. She's got eight points. Henderson turning on the Jets. Stopped by Cooper. Offensive foul on Herbert Harrigan. DC Landrum. Excellent job. Stepping position. Took it in the chest. Good call. Herbert Harrigan going to take a seat with those two fouls. Remember, Baylor knocked off South Carolina last year in the Sweet 16. Richards, boy, to great somehow didn't run over the defender. But Brie, Smith missed the shot. And Brie Beal with great defense on Dee Richards, not allowing any dribble penetration. Beal all by herself. Numbers. Cooper with a three on two, deflected by Henderson. Cooper faces up. And it'll stay here. The timeout was already called earlier in the quarter by Kim Mulkey, so we'll stay here instead of go to the... No. Usual media timeout well, after the five minute mark. Watch a play here for Dee Dee Richards. They've used her on the OB plays. Kim Mulkey looking on. She has led Baylor to three national titles. There is a, a lot of jostling going along, uh, Kevin, between the post players. Don Staley, very interested in how that will be called. Nice steal by Saxton. Henderson looks off Richards and then throws it wildly over her shoulder. And one dribble too deep by Henderson. They sniffed out the out of bounds play. Henderson with the, or Henderson gets the outlet pass and here she comes. Don Staley none too happy. Don Staley a tremendous point guard in her time at the University of Virginia 
in the WNBA and for the USA national team and pounding it home to hit her players right now. Make the simple pass. Two on one, you have numbers. Don't make the great play, just make a play. Landrum out of control, Smith. Boy, a lot of physicality and a nice tip in by Jordan Oliver into the game, the yeah. freshman from Prosper, Texas. Oliver off the bench, immediately shows some hops, goes to the weak side, tips it in. Smith doing the dirty work on the left side. Out of the reach of Boston, here comes the Bears. Inside to Oliver, blocked by Saxton. Oh, Saxton got a lot of ball yeah, there. She came in from behind. It's like a pretty good block. She might have got her on the shoulders, but that was a uh, good recovery and hustle play. Oliver misses the first. Oliver, just a 50% free throw shooter on the young season. Beto led by six early in South Carolina. Got points in transition and lead up to 11 at one point. And a lot of it's because of that young woman right there. Harris. Ty Harris, yes, he's been explosive in the open court under control, has picked her spots. 11 points now, leading all scores for South Carolina. Bickle with the three-pointer, has that ability to stretch the D. They've used Bickle on the ball screen and step, she stepped out, has been open a numerous times. And Egbo picked up that second foul early for Baylor. They've gone to a different type of offense. Oh, wow. Ty Harris, he's feeling it. Beautiful shot by Harris, who now has 14, excuse me, 13 points. That rim looks huge to Harris right now. Landrum quick off the floor. She's playing with the ball screen. They're icing it. She hesitates. The defender stands up. She's done that a number of times and turn on the Jets to get to the basket before the help defense. South Carolina preseason pick by the media to win the SEC. Baylor preseason pick to win the Big 12. And an offensive foul called on Beal. Give me a little travel, I think. Uh, left arm out first before the travel. Left forearm with a push on Juicy Landrum. First foul on Beal. Fourth team foul for the quarter. We're getting down close to the two minute mark. What a game between these two top five teams in the country. Bickle reaches high. They have forced it over Boston. That was a quick shot. He was trying to go down low, but defended well in their high-low look. Pickle decides to cock and fire. Slow developing play, 10 on the shot clock. Boston has it swatted away by Smith, two on one. Landrum back to Smith. And it's a six point game. Teamwork by the Lady Bears. That's how you run the two on one break. South Carolina calling the timeout. They put cans. Now watch this. He gets the defender to turn their head. Well, not once, but twice. And Smith with the finish. Landrum with the dime. Baylor won the national championship last year, but they graduated Kalani Brown, 6'7", who went on the WNBA. Chloe Jackson, a grad transfer from LSU, who was the point guard for Kim Mulkey. But they also are without the services of Lauren Cox. She played on their game on November 8th and hasn't played since then with a stress reaction. She is considered one of the top players for national player of the year. 
And so Baylor playing without her since then. Some frustration from Bickle. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Teammates trying to sell her down. Kay Cooper is telling Caitlin Bickle, relax. Don't rush yourself. Eight, Eight on the shot clock. The ball screen for Henderson backs up. Back irons it. What a rebound by Urson. Again, fast break, numbers. Baylor has gotten themselves back in this game with the fast break. As off, they're now within four. They've done off steals, long rebounds, allowed them to get numbers going downhill. They've run it to perfection with numbers, either two on one or three on two. Spread the court. Excellent passing. Henderson with the ball fake. Four on two for Baylor. Cooper takes her time. Urson protects it. Can't get it. Goes up in traffic, and she is fouled. Urson trying to go up against three South Carolina defenders and ends up drawing the foul. A good effort, and there's one. Leave on Boston. And that's Zaya Cook's third foul. That's on Cook. Moon Urson, the 5'6 junior out of Louisiana, misses her first. And Leah Boston has played a lot of minutes, has yet to pick up a foul for the Gamecocks. That is huge as we end here the second quarter. Cook going to go out, Bree Beal back in. One of the three freshmen that start in this South Carolina lineup. Zaya Cook, Aaliyah Boston, and Bree Beal, all three freshmen that start for Don Staley, the number one recruiting class in the country. And South Carolina will lean on these freshmen heavily this year, but also Harris, the senior. You see the leadership calming everyone down. And Dee Kantner calls a five-second count. Ty Harris actually glanced over at Dee Kantner, counting the five seconds, and was a little too casual about it. Closely guarded, turnover. Baylor with eight seconds to go in the half. Cooper back to Juicy Landrum, in and out. Boston there for the rebound, and then a foul on Bickle. Trying to latch her arm around Boston. Boston kind of threw her off. Yeah, that's that's a good call. D. Kantner goes underneath and sees Bickle is trying to hook the arm of Boston to try to bait her into a foul. The officials getting together. The foul is on Bickle. That's her second. And Dee Kantner talking to Kim Mulkey. There's still time on the clock. The foul was called before the halftime clock sounded. And now we'll end the half. What a half here in St. Thomas as South Carolina with a three-point lead as we go into the locker room. Kevin Lehman going to catch Kim Mulkey, the head coach for Baylor, on the, her way to the locker room. Kim, down by 11, then your defense really stepped up and scored some points for you. Well, they altered some shots, and I think we got a little bit hesitant there. Uh, they played pretty darn good. They made a lot of buckets from the perimeter. I think we're doing as good as we possibly can in the paint on Boston with Queen sitting over there by me. And I thought we battled. And uh, just keep it to single digits in the first half, and you'll have a chance in the second half. Okay, thanks, Coach. We'll see you in the second half. You heard it from Kim Mulkey. Going back to you, Brenda. All right, thanks, Kevin. Three-point game. Ty Harris was outstanding in the first half for South Carolina, finished with 13 points, five of nine from the field. But Baylor hanging in there with their defense and scoring in fast in their fast break. Juicy Landrum, Tay Cooper, 
the Baylor Bears got it running and kept the game close. South Carolina led by as many as 11, but Baylor closes to three at the half, and that's the way it'll be as we go to the halftime locker room. South Carolina 38, Baylor 35 here at the Paradise Jam in St. Thomas. Back at the Paradise Jam, some good offensive rebounding for Baylor, but South Carolina leads by three at the half. Baylor has pounded the glass. They have 10 offensive rebounds. They've turned those into points. That, and for South Carolina, it's been Ty Harris, cool, calm, and collected like all guards. Doesn't change her expression but keeps knocking in, and she has 13 points for the Gamecocks. So what a game here in the first half. Top five matchup between South Carolina and Baylor. Alongside Kevin Lehman, I'm Brenda Van Lingen. You had a chance to talk to Don Staley at the half. A couple points. He said, we need to get more touches for Aaliyah Boston. Get it inside, pound it inside, she said. And they've made some adjustments on the side ball screen that Baylor is running. They're going to push it to the baseline and switch the post onto the guard. Queen Egbo back into the game for Baylor. She went out quickly with a couple of fouls called on her and never came back in. But when you talk to Kim Mulkey, she said she liked the fact that they're within three points with Egbo sitting on the bench most of the first half. We're here at the Paradise Jam in St. Thomas in the Virgin Islands at the University of the Virgin Islands, the Sports and Fitness Center, and Queen Egbo gets called for her third foul. You know, and she's getting the kind of fouls that Aaliyah Boston got on the first night, and, and Egbo just wrapped her arm around Aaliyah Boston. It's a foul. You know, she got deep position, and just like Dawn Staley told us, we're gonna throw it in to Boston. Get her some touches. And there she goes. There's a touch and a score for the vaunted freshman. Boston now with 10. Aaliyah Boston going to be a fan favorite in the United States, but she certainly is here as she is a native of St. Thomas. She grew up here until she was 12, and she and her older sister moved to Massachusetts to go to school, but she grew up going to these Paradise Jam tournaments and watching some of the best teams in the nation compete right here in the University of Virgin Islands Health and Sports Center. Oh, we've seen that play the start of each game. They use the staggered weak side, staggered single screens. For Juicy Landrum, she comes off and scores again. Landrum now with eight points. Baylor was led in the first half by Nalissa Smith with 10. Landrum has eight right behind her. Beal with a tough catch in traffic and scores. And Smith, hands up, didn't want to contest and pick up a foul. Smith being defended by Herbert Harrigan. And it falls away from that shot. too high for Boston. They had her on the first pass from the right wing and threw it back to the top of the key. That went way out of reach. Even at 6'5", too tall for Boston. South what? Carolina led by as many as 11, Kevin, in the first half. Baylor led by as many as six. The Gamecocks leading by five here as we get started in the third quarter. Well, Baylor was double digits down. Then their defense started doing some things for them, giving them some fast breaks. Lander has been quick turn the corner, getting to the basket. 13 seconds on the shot clock. Cooper blocked by Beal. Isaiah Cook, who was also plagued with foul trouble. She had three in the first half, is back in the game. And they brought Bickle in for Egbu as she picked up that foul early here in the half. First possession. 
Cook dribbles it off the back of her ankle. Oh, nice pass. Boston turns, spins, and then she's going to get called for a foul on the offensive rebound attempt. But that is quite an accomplishment in this tournament. Boston just getting called for her first foul here in the third quarter. Comes off the screen. Beal. Great timing. And blocks it and keeps possession. Yeah, that's a great skill to have, to be able to have that ability to just keep it in play. Smith just working in traffic. She should get three for that. That was worth more than two right. in a crowd of three black jerseys, pulled it down and finished. I'm gonna go back and check because they're not showing Boston with a foul, so that may not have been Boston on the last possession that committed the foul. Herbert Harrigan short on the shot, but a now foul gonna be called, it appears, on Aaliyah Boston. Let's see what they put up on the board as far as, now she has two. So it says on the scoreboard that she has two fouls, but on our stat monitor, Oh, she's got confused herself on that last call. We get a look at it here. Bickle had her hooked. They called hmm. Boston and come over the back. Foul on the floor. So a lot of whistles here in the early going. This time Beal picks up her third, and it's already the fourth team foul of the quarter for South Carolina as Grissett checks in. That's what got South Carolina in trouble in their loss to Indiana. Just too many touch fouls, too many fouls with hands on the ball handler. Bickle steps out, the pick and pop. Smith. They're going to call that on Nalissa Smith. That yeah, tangled up inside with Herbert Harrigan. Watch the, um, they're battling for real estate down there. Harrigan shoving her out. <laughs> what else can you do? Yeah, Herbert Harrigan was leaning yes. on Smith, and Smith looked like she was just trying to get around her. It was then trying to keep her balance and falling out of bounds. Boston sets the screen. Herbert Harrigan retrieves it. They want Boston on the block. Now she's going to come set the screen. Harris fouled by Melissa Smith. Boy, what quickness by Ty Harris. And she drove and missed it and kind of got out of the play and then sees the ball bounce back out, explodes back in, picks up the foul. That's the third foul on Nalissa Smith. She stays in. Dee Dee Richards is going to go to the bench. Ty Harris, relatively quiet in the game against Indiana and again against Washington State, five points and seven points, but she has come out aggressive in this game and she has 13 on the board. Misses that free throw. Four assists for number 52. Misses both. Baylor can cut into the lead. That is rare for Ty Harris. Cooper on the handoff. And a foul on South Carolina on Zaya Cook. I believe that will that will be her fourth foul. And she's going to go to the bench being replaced by Destiny Henderson. This third quarter has been more closely called. Not a lot of flow here. Kind of free throws and fouls. Neither team has been able to get the rhythm on offense. Cooper, a transfer from South Carolina, 
to Baylor this season. She was friends with Chloe Jackson, who was the grad transfer to Baylor last year that was their point guard. And decided she wanted to play the point guard position, wasn't going to be able to here at South Carolina, so made the transfer over to Baylor. Held ball, possession arrow in favor of the Gamecocks. Yeah, I'd say that point guard position is fairly secure with Ty Harris. She has been excellent today. And Zaya Cook, now the number one point guard in the country last year as a high school player, her heir apparent. Harris, another triple. He has been tremendous in this game. That's her second three-pointer of the game. She's got 16. Cooper goes to the floor hard. Melissa Smith gets the rebound. Bickle. Baylor has not been able to get into their side pick and roll offense. Again. And a foul going to be on South Carolina on the rebound. Now that's already the third foul on Aaliyah Boston. So without picking up any fouls at all in the first half, she has now picked up three in the first five and a half minutes of the third quarter. And Ty Harris gets the kick out from her teammate, rings the bell from the corner for the Gamecocks. Welcome back to the Paradise Jam. We were talking about how Aaliyah Boston hadn't had any fouls in the first half, and she's picked up three fouls here in the third quarter, so she's taking a seat beside assistant coach Jolette Law on the bench for South Carolina. Caitlin Bickle was blocking her out. She was fouled, just made her first free throw, and misses the second. So. South Carolina with a four-point lead with 4.20 to go in the third quarter. And Meher in for the Gamecocks now for Boston. Step in, pin the defender, drop step and score. South Carolina has had the lead since the 2.18 mark in the first quarter when Baylor led 19-16. Melissa Smith floats it up over Herbert Harrigan. Melissa Smith takes out the do it yourself kit. They've gone away from the side ball screen. The switch. Richards falls out of it, and uh, no call. Eric Bruton was not buying it, he was the official on the baseline. Off South Carolina. There's still a little bit of a buzz here yeah, in the Moon arena. Moon Erson with the driving. Ooh, that might have gone off Moon Erson after Ty Harris. Uh, knocked, a no call. It Harris her. got a lot of arm and skin on that. That uh, it kind of washes out. Yeah, it was a no call there. <laughs> got away with one. Didn't able to keep possession. Juicy Landrum short. We saw some transition baskets in the first half, but both teams have gotten back defensively and made the other play half-court offense. I mean, it's amazing how hard these teams are playing when this is the third game in three days for both of them. Destiny Henderson playing with a little extra energy right now puts South Carolina up by six. Spin move by Henderson. South Carolina lost to Indiana by 14 points on Thanksgiving Thursday. We mentioned Boston got into foul trouble that game. Others were in foul trouble. It was a tough matchup with the, the guard play of Indiana. Nice move there by Henderson. Gets it right down the lane. Harris picks up her first foul, sending Dee Dee Richards to the line. Richards now just one for three from the charity stripe. 
And a great battle for both these teams. Baylor preseason pick to win the Big 12. The media pick South Carolina to win the SEC. Even with all the freshmen, they start three freshmen from that number one recruiting class. And we'll have a shakeup in the polls when they come out as number one Oregon went down. That was right here on this court as Louisville, the eighth ranked team, beat Oregon earlier today. Egbo gets her first basket of the game. She's been in foul trouble all game long. Egbo has an excellent feel for running to the rim, getting her feet in the paint, pinning the defender. Quick release. Henderson traveled. Henderson then turned the corner and getting in the paint that time. Nowhere to go. Baylor has won 35 straight games. That's yes, going back to last season to a national championship. Inside Egbo. They're going to call the foul and send Egbo to the free throw line. Yeah, recovery got it from behind. Egbo with some fresh legs to sit most of the first half, saddled with foul problems. I want to update that the win over Indiana yesterday gave Baylor 36 straight wins. So that winning streak on the line here today. Egbo makes the first. Baylor slowly chipping away at this lead. And draws the Bears within one. It's become a half court game here in the third quarter. Second quarter is more transition off turnovers, fast break opportunities. This has been five on five basketball. Ooh, Harrigan with huge steps across the lane, and then Melissa Smith commits the foul. That's her fourth. Smith slaps down at the ball, had good position with her feet, reached in and slapped at the wrist. The explosiveness of Herbert Harrigan just so difficult to defend. And Kim Mulkey. Puts an arm around Nalissa Smith. Nalissa Smith puts her arm around Coach Mulkey as she gets an important lesson here in, you gotta stay on the court, kid. We need you. Nalissa Smith came into the game, if you remember last year's national championship when Lauren Cox went out with the injury and Notre Dame started to make a comeback. Nalissa Smith had big baseline jumpers in that game to help Baylor hold on for the win and the national title. They can run that side pick and roll with Smith because she can fade out and hit it that 17 footer. Smith was the bench with 14 points, seven rebounds. Help defense, stole the ball away from Egbo. Richards knocks the ball away. Harris dives on the floor and a timeout called by Don Staley. Everybody gonna gather around Ty Harris, make sure she's okay. Well, one of the few mistakes by Harris, spins in traffic, loses control, her coach Right on the spot, calling the timeout. Keep possession for the Gamecocks. Ty Harris has done so much, but she dives on the ball here. And may have hit her chin on the floor, fell hard, and she is going to be staying out of the game now. She has 16 points and six assists leading the way for South Carolina. Gonna take a breather there by Aaliyah Boston, who picked up three fouls this quarter. She has the keys to this engine running the show for the Gamecocks. Under a minute to play in the third quarter, South Carolina leading number two, Baylor by three. And a travel gonna be called on Amir. Amir, a little excited, caught the ball out there, a little outside of her range. Gonna drive, drug the pivot foot. A dead ball turnover. This game changed there late in the second quarter with the amount of live ball turnovers. Baylor was able to turn into points. Baylor with a chance to draw within one or tie. Boy, 
a couple of pushing matches going on on the court. They caught one, Eric Bruton calls the foul. Well, we have a block-to-block -block screen there. And Herbert Harrigan trying to jam the screener. It's yeah. Bickle, and Bickle gets to go to the free throw line. And she misses the free throw. Much to the chagrin of Kim Mulkey on the sideline. That's the third foul for Herbert Harrigan. He also saw Juicy Landrum hit the deck away from the ball as well. But the foul called on Herbert Harrigan. And South Carolina trying to jam up those block-to-block -block screens. And missing both is Bickle. Hadn't been to the free throw line very much on the year, just two times all year long coming into this tournament. Ami here, rebounded and a jump ball. Possession arrow in favor of Baylor. 23 and a half seconds left. The shot clock will be turned off. Now Boston has been on the bench with three fouls. Look for it to come here in the fourth quarter. Dee Dee Richards. They ran this before. Do a flat screen, let Richards create. Richards out to Cooper in the corner. South Carolina with time. Beal, top of the key, no. And South Carolina will take a three-point lead into the fourth quarter. Jen Ashby is the tournament director for the Paradise Jam, and you will not find a harder working person in this business as she coordinates all the travel, the hotels, the experiences. And she and Nels Hawkinson, the founder of Basketball Travelers in the Paradise Jam, came up with this idea for the beach zone, a VIP area on the end of the court. What an experience for the fans, for the teams, everybody participating, you and I, Kevin, Flow Hoops, our entire crew, we really are appreciative of being here courtside for these great games and being here in St. Thomas for this entire week. And you can see on the midcourt, there's a 20th year of the Paradise Jam, and it runs smoothly because of Jen Ashby. So here we go. We've already had the number one team in the country beaten today here at the Paradise Jam as Louisville knocked them off. The number two team in the country, Baylor on the ropes against South Carolina. And the foul called on the shot. And boy, if, if South Carolina able to pull this one off, it'll be really interesting to see how the voters handle this because South Carolina lost to number seven, Indiana, earlier in the tournament. But if they turn around and beat number two, Baylor, it'll be interesting to see how that's accounted for in the polls as Grissett makes the first free throw. And Leah Boston back in the game here to start the fourth quarter. The second is missed. Egbo brings it in. Melissa Smith is on the bench for Baylor with four fouls. We talked about it all game, but Lauren Cox, National Player of the Year candidate for Baylor, still out with the stress reaction injury. She has not been available since November 8th for Baylor. Don Staley told me at halftime, we need more touches inside for Boston. Boston sizing up Egbo. Offensive foul on Destiny Henderson. 
Don Staley not happy about that at all. And right there in front of DeCantner. And watch Richardson on the ball defense. Well, it looked like Dee Dee Richards went up and crowded her, but then well, the forearm shove by Henderson is what... Well, violated the cylinder rule. Dee Dee Richards. Oh. Pick and roll to Egbo. We have not seen that pick and roll for quite some time. Egbo is a master at the roll. Two-point game, and Landrum commits the foul on the drive. The team fouls reset to start the fourth quarter. So that's the second team foul of the quarter, second foul on Juicy Landrum. Pick and roll, that's what Baylor is known for. The reason why you've got a player like Egbu, explosive, died to the rim after setting the screen. When well, you saw Aaliyah Boston just kind of getting out of the way to not pick up another foul. Boston goes right around Egbo that time for the score. Boston has vice grip hands. So strong and soft also. Great combination for a post player. 12 points on six of nine from the field. Landrum to Bickle. So a couple of pick and rolls now working. They had gone away from that. Now we've seen it. Uh, they we've seen them score from it the last two plays. Well, Bickle usually likes to screen and pop out. That time rolled right to the rim. Yeah, Bickle hasn't gotten her three pointers to go down, so decided not to flare out. And the ball bounces on the baseline. Well, Boston was open. The pass led just about a couple inches outside her fingertips. <clears throat> Baylor with an opportunity to tie or take the lead on this possession. 18 turnovers by South Carolina, just seven for Baylor. Egbo back to Richards, they're gonna do it again. And Cooper's heels are on the sideline as she catches the ball, so she is out of bounds and another turnover for Baylor. Baylor just seven turnovers for the game compared to the 18 you just mentioned for yes, South Carolina. South Carolina cannot get numbers in transition as Baylor has handled the ball with precision. Beal tracking it down. Harris back into the game and she is fouled by Egbo. You said a key to this game would be to see which team's post players could stay out of foul trouble. Baylor seems to have had the most problems with that. Egbo picks up her fourth. Nalissa Smith comes back onto the court with four fouls for Baylor. Egbo, Egbo barely in double digit minutes. Ty Harris makes the first. Harris has been phenomenal in this game. Baylor got within one point here in the second half, 49 to 48. Then they drew within two at 54-52, but the Gamecocks has stretched it back out to four. Yeah, Harris comes back in the game. Lead goes back to four. See him push that dribbler down the baseline. Bickle wraps it around to Melissa Smith, who misses a great opportunity. The presence of Boston there intimidating. What South Carolina wants to do is keep that ball pinned on a side. They call it icing the down screen so it doesn't come back to the middle of the court and then they rotate help defense over. Watch this move by Beal. Wow, strength. Keep the ball high, split the defenders. And Landrum was staying out of the way to foul and then she just raked her arm down over Beal's arm as she went to the basket to pick up the foul. South Carolina making good on its trips to the free throw line. They are 11 of 15 from the line. That's 73% where Baylor just 9 of 17, 53%. A, a difference in this ball game. Also South Carolina, four three-pointers, only one for Baylor. 
And Baylor leads in the turnover category in a good way. Only eight turnovers for the Lady Bears. South Carolina has kicked it around 18 times. Landrum into the lane. Smith with a putback. Well, Smith rebounds in traffic as well as anyone. That has hurt the Bears with Egbu on the bench. He also is a great rebounder. There's a bunch of bodies in there. Quick jumper, soft hands. Forcing her way in, and then Boston with the putback. There's another set of soft hands. Boston. They pushed again, pushed Landrum to the baseline. Cooper for three. And a timeout by Baylor as the Cooper three draws the Lady Bears within two. A good decision by Landrum. She got pushed the baseline, kicked it back out to the weak side to her teammates. Clicks her heels and rings the bell. Three points, the Lady Bears. What an atmosphere here at the U.S. Virgin Islands on the island of St. Thomas. Standing room only. And a lot of fans here cheering for South Carolina as Aaliyah Boston coming home to St. Thomas. A terrific, terrific atmosphere. Earlier today, Oregon, number one team in the country, got knocked off. Number two team, Baylor, on the ropes right now. Still playing without Lauren Cox. National Player of the Year candidate, Big 12 Defensive Player of the Year the last two years, All-American, and with the foul trouble with Queen Egbo in this game, the Lauren, Lauren Cox being out and not available, just another factor to make a little thinner this yes. big, deep core of post players for Baylor. A Queen Egbo with four fouls has only played 10 minutes. She's back in the game now. Also. Alyssa Smith with four fouls. Bickle with three. And Herbert Harrigan charges to the basket, being defended by Smith, who has four. So an easy basket for Herbert Harrigan to put the Gamecocks back up by four. Side Egg ball screen. Egbo setting the screen. Bounce pass to her. And a solid defensive effort for Aaliyah Boston. Boston with her hands to the ceiling, held her ground. Good no call. Boston with three fouls, picked them all up in the third quarter. Herbert Harrigan to the opposite side of the rim. What a shot. Iso play, rip and drive baseline. Herbert Harrigan delivers. Slip screen by Smith. Boy, that's a lot of contact from Boston that time. But Boston is able, to, she's kept her arms straight up. If she reaches over, the officials have an easy call. And that's where she got into trouble in that Indiana loss. She was doing a lot of reaching, especially on guards on those well, on ball screen. And I'm sure Don said they had some great film clips to teach this freshman. You have to play with your hands to the ceiling. Egbo blocks the shot, but who are they going to call the foul on? They're going to call the foul on Dee Dee Richards. Boy, Egbo with yes. the help blocked it, but Richards committed the foul. Tense moment for it. Egbo, she thought that might have been on her. Bickle's going to come in. Kim Mulkey decides it's not worth the risk to have both of her posts in the game with four fouls, so she puts Bickle back in. Now watch Bickle at the offensive end. When they run the side ball screen, she likes to step to the three-point line and shoot the three. Henderson misses the first. Bickle has knocked down one triple in this game. Lead stretched back to seven. The biggest lead in the game for South Carolina was 11. 
Baylor got back within one in the third quarter. Back within two just moments ago. And since then, South Carolina on a 5-0 run. Smith challenging scores. Well, again, the side ball screen, that time back to Smith, who passes up the three, drives it to the rim. And Kim Mulkey calls a timeout for Baylor. Strong finish. Baylor with a timeout. South Carolina leads by five, 341 to go here at the Paradise Jam. South Carolina leads by seven with 341 to go. They have led all since the first quarter when Baylor led 19 to 16. That was 218 to go in the first. Since then, ba since then, South Carolina has led in this game. Aaliyah Boston fouled on the floor by Caitlin Bickle. Too strong for Bickle. Design play out of the timeout. Get a high-low dump down to Boston. So this will be Boston's first trip to the free throw line tonight. Bickle trying to shove Boston farther out. Boston, 68% from the free throw line on this young season. Makes them both, stretches the lead to seven. Landrum has to come get the basketball. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Landrum back to Bickle. Bickle drives, spins, too hard, and Henderson comes away with it. Dawn Staley puts the brakes on. Slow down, now she's directing traffic, getting her people in the positions. Harris has a straight line drive, can't get it to go. Boston there to clean it up. The crowd loves it. Cooper Long, Smith is fouled on the rebound attempt, but that's just the second team foul of the quarter for South Carolina. So Baylor will inbound it on the baseline. Baylor running the side ball screen. As Don Saley said, we're going to switch that. So it pulls Boston away from the basket as he switches onto the guard, exposes South Carolina to rebounding. Boston, 18 points, now 13 rebounds in the homecoming game for Aaliyah Boston. It's been a homecoming tournament for her. It was tough the first game when she fouled out after just 14 minutes and South Carolina lost. But she's come back, especially in this game against the number two ranked team in the country and been unstoppable. 20 points now for Aaliyah Boston. She has stepped in front of the rim, buried the defender. That time, Egbo goes down. And a turnover for Baylor. It is going to be tough for Baylor to climb out of this one. Especially with Ty Harris, ball in her hands. There's ice in her veins. Much of the crowd behind the South Carolina bench on their feet. And a travel called. I mean, I mentioned earlier, it's like a home game in here. Such a great atmosphere here at the Sports and Fitness Center at the University of the Virgin Islands. Well, Very pro South Carolina crowd. On, on the upper deck, they are stacked two and three deep. Business is closed to come to this game. Landrum. And Baylor has gone cold. Baylor has only scored one basket in the last five minutes. One minute to play. Yeah. 
Henderson gets it to Boston, kicks out to Harris. Why not? Got it up before the shot clock. They get the offensive rebound, and Beal puts it home, and the crowd goes crazy here. Baylor only able to score two points in the last five minutes. Herbert Harrigan with the block. Earlier today in the Paradise Jam, the number one team in the country went down. And now the number two team is gonna go down. The, they still gotta inbound it. The, the clock stops with 1.3 seconds left, so Baylor has to inbound it since South Carolina shot the basket. And that's it. The number one team, Oregon, went down earlier today. Now the number two team in the country, Baylor goes down, South Carolina and Don Staley with the victory here in the Paradise Jam. South Carolina, 74, Baylor 59, Aaliyah Boston in her homecoming here to St. Thomas on the Virgin Island. Her home island scores 20 points and 13 rebounds. Ty Harris also with 20 for the Gamecocks, along with four rebounds and seven assists to lead South Carolina. Now in a strange twist though, Baylor actually is going to win the Paradise Jam Championship because we've got a three-way tie. Baylor finishes two and one, South Carolina finishes two and one, and Indiana finishes two and one. In the tie break, Baylor actually wins the tie break because South Carolina lost by 14 points to Indiana. They needed to beat Baylor by 15 points to be able to win this championship. But they get the victory. They knock off Baylor. That's all they care about. And this crowd so happy that Aaliyah Boston and the Gamecocks with the victory here at the Sport and Fitness Center at the University of the Virgin Islands. Kevin Lehman standing by with Don Staley. Coach, tell me what you're feeling right now. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling great for our team. We lost the game on Thursday. We didn't play to the best of our capabilities. We, we, the next game, we could have folded. We came back strong. We got, we got more strong as the tournament went on. And I want to say that it was no disrespect to Baylor. We were working on a point differential and scoring the basketball at the end of the game. We needed to win by 15 because they beat Indiana by 15, and we wanted to win the championship. Plain and simple. Congratulations, Coach. From Indiana, Ali Pepper. From South Carolina. What are you feeling right now? Fantastic game. Um, overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. I mean, everybody came out and played. We knew it was going to be a tough one. We lost the first game, but we turned the page and came back. Well, you start off so strong. What was your mindset to start this game? Uh, I, I've been uh, slacking, so I had to bring it back up. I had to bring it back up. Okay, go enjoy this with your team. Back to you guys. All right, thank you, Kevin. And yes, because South Carolina hit that last shot, and you heard it from Don Staley there, no disrespect to Baylor, but because they hit the last shot and won the game by 15 on point differential, they win the Paradise Jam Championship. You see the all-tournament team, Herbert Harrigan, Aaliyah Boston, Allie Patberg from Indiana, Dee Dee Richards, along with Queen Egbo, the all-tournament team selected. And Because we had a three-way tie, South Carolina was two and one. 
Baylor was two and one, Indiana was two and one, and because they stretched the lead to a 15 point victory because of the point differential, South Carolina wins the Paradise Jam. We'll be, we'll be back with a recap. After all the craziness, we'll wrap it up after this.